Welcome to another parametric architecture video and in this video I've just selected the metropole parcel structure as you can see here and we're going to talk about this and a little bit about the details and how it's made. So first of all this building or the structure which is the biggest uh, wooden structure in the world let's just zoom in and this building is located in the Seville, Spain and it's basically designed by a German architect called Jürgen Mayer. So this is the first tip. So let's just go to another picture here. Uh, you can see this building. This building is basically 150 meters in the length. If we just assume that this is the length of the building or structure. And 70 meters in the width and 26 meters high okay so this is the, the dimensions of the building according to wikipedia so the next step is to explain a little bit about this building first of all uh, again according to wikipedia its appearance and location and especially the delay and cost of this structure uh, was uh, resulted in a public controversy so uh, perhaps it just cost too much. Okay, the next thing is that it's called the Las Setas de la Incarnacion. I don't know what it, uh, how it's just pronounced, but it means the Incarnation's Mushroom. So, this was just the beginning, and let's just go uh, see more details about this structure. So you can see uh, these are a little bit more about the details and how they are connected. And I'm going to show you some pictures so you can understand more about this structure. So, as you can see, uh, first the steel structures and uh, the rail, which you can see here, was designed. And after that, we have uh, the installation of the wooden building. So this is the structure. And then we start with the columns, as you can see here. And let's just go further. This is another column and here you go you can see the structure is forming and being constructed so again you can see details here how they are connected and these are simply a big a part of wooden structures uh, something like connected with a waffle structure so again you can see some details here and uh, see there's a walk here and i'm going to show you about that okay the details of this is something like this as you can see here and this shows how the connection is designed uh, so I just uh, picked this picture from uh, the website what's explaining about this so again you can see this detail in uh, real size here which you can see the details and the connection was uh, which is uh, for the uh, construction of that. Okay, again, a sample of this, as you can see here, will help you understand the building. And about this, I want to explain that you can uh, make something similar to this by the uh, contour uh, command in Rhino and Grasshopper, but we can't model this in this tutorial, but I want to show you a little bit of how you can do that in Rhino. So here you can see that I have made a 3D model, maybe just a sphere scaled by the Z direction, and then I use the contour. Uh, it's really simple, but I guess that you have to model the base of this structure. Uh, about the modeling of the structure, I will also put two videos up here which will help you to model this. The first one is the Viverber tutorial, which we talked about modeling. Uh, voxel model especially especially this part I'm going to explain this okay in this picture uh, I want to show you how the voxel modeling if you can see here there's a void underneath this part or let me show you another picture go. and this really shows it well you can see that this is the entrance here again you have another one here which comes and you can model this in voxel model so I just encourage you to watch the tutorial I will put it in the card section and if you just uh, look at this part you can see this is uh, maybe a sphere okay there's a sphere here which has a negative charge 
okay, and it's just cutting off the model. So if you watch the VivaWord tutorial, I guess you can also model this simply by giving this a line and uh, giving this a sphere with a negative charge here. Also you can simply just draw a curve and give it a negative charge or just simply make a solid something like this and give it a negative charge and uh, just subtract it from your model. Again, you can see something similar to this here, I guess it just finishes there, I don't know. But you can use this technique uh, to model this structure. So let's just go back to Rhino and assume that, uh, let's just scale this in the Z direction. I want to show you how you can use the contour tool, really easy. Just type C-O-N-T, we have this in Grasshopper also. Select the object, space or enter and the start and the end which defines the direction of the contour command and we'll just produce a, uh, a perpendicular plane so we will have planes something like this cutting our object and let's just say that maybe five meters is fine and if you just produce these curves you can see you can go to the solid section and choose this extrude closed plan or curve just help you to produce the extrusion in the same direction you used it in the contour tool so let's just give this a one and again let's just use the okay contour again in this direction five and let's just give this a one maybe one let's just delete this and you can see something similar to this and for the details if you want to make this by cardboard or something similar to this again i'm going to put a video up here if you haven't watched it it's the waffle structure tutorial i've talked about how to let me just explain this a little bit but i guess if you watch the video you will understand what's happening so if we have these two sections and find the intersection between them let's just intersect and have something like this if you find the bounding box it's going to be something similar to this one let's assume this is a box and if we scale this or move this in the height direction so it's in the z direction uh, based on the height the half of the height if it's moved up it's going to be something like this right and if we just subtract that from this solid we will have uh, uh, slit here and then if we would just move this half of this height again downwards we will have something like this and then we will just subtract that from this one so this is the technique you can use and let me show you something similar to that I guess that's not the way we will do it because we just did this in uh, grasshopper and I uh, will also put the link up here just check this out but assume that we have something like this let's put this down. okay if I move this up the half of its height and say just boolean difference from this one we will have something like this and if we just uh, let's do that again but say delete inputs no no and here we go again move this down and say boolean difference again this one deleted by this one and now you can see that we have something similar to the waffle tutorial which i was uh, explained in the tutorial which i just put in the card section so just check it out i wanted to give you a view of how this was modeled but i guess there are many many details okay. about this uh, and you can see the metropolitan structure here and this is the bridge uh, which was designed by Kalatrava and the Alamelo bridge it's really beautiful you can also search for this you can see this bridge also maybe we'll just talk about this in our future videos and how it's made and this is really simple if you want to model this in Rhino or Grasshopper but optimizing this is going to be a challenge and it's going to be a good thing to optimize this with Grasshopper, which you can use the Millipede plugin or the Karamba plugin to optimize this and maybe just change the degree of this up and down in 
increase the division of these cables, the number of the cables, and see which is the best result, or maybe just the length of this, you can change that. So rotation, changing of the length, and the number of the cables will just give you different results. So this was just a short overview of the uh, structure and the biggest wooden structure, and thank you for watching.